Lesson 32 homework. Number one, circle the expression equivalent to the difference between seven and four divided by a fifth. So we're looking for one expression that's equivalent to the difference. Now difference means we're subtracting. So we're looking for the difference between seven and four. So something that's seven minus four divided by one fifth. So we wanna do the difference between seven and four first. So I'm gonna put those in parentheses and then we're dividing by a fifth. So that looks like this one. Number two, circle the expressions equivalent to 42 divided by the sum of tw two thirds and three fourths. So we have 42 divided by the sum, that means plus, so we're adding two thirds and three fourths. So we're looking for that. Let's see if we see that one. Uh, that one's right here. And then let's look for a different way that they could put it. So remember, division, that is a fraction. So we could take all of that and just put it over. So we know this is the same thing as a division sign right there. And so this is equivalent also. Number three, fill in the chart by writing the equivalent numerical expression or expression in word form. A, a fourth as much as the sum of three and one eighth and four and five tenths. So a fourth as much as the sum, so I'm gonna start with the sum of these two, which means we're adding them. So one fourth as much would mean that we're multiplying because we're taking one fourth of and of means multiply. So we have one fourth of, and then we're adding three and one eighth plus four and five tenths. So that's one way to write it. B, we have three and one eighth plus four and five tenths divided by five. So we could say the sum of three and one eighth and four and five tenths, and then we're dividing it by five. So divided by five. C, multiply three fifths by five eighths, then have the product. So there's multiple ways to write this, but what I'm gonna do is start with this. So multiply three fifths times five eighths, or five and eight tenths. And then, so once we've done that, we're gonna have it. So we're gonna divide it by two, or you could would get the same answer if you multiplied by one half. Either one would work. D, we have one sixth times four and eight tenths minus one half. I'm gonna start with the one sixth. So we have one sixth as much as, and I'm gonna say the difference because we're subtracting between four and eight tenths and one half. E, we have eight minus one half divided by nine. So I'm gonna start with eight minus, and the answer to a division problem is called a quotient. So I'm gonna use that word, eight minus the quotient of one half and nine. Number four, compare the expressions in 3a and 3b. Without evaluating, identify the expression that is greater. Explain how you know. So in a, we have one fourth times something, and in b, we have divided by five. So Divided by five is the same thing as multiplying by one-fifth. So I could take that out and change it to multiplying by one-fifth. So all we're determining here is which expression is greater. So if you multiply by one-fourth, it's going to be greater because a fourth of something, you'll have a bigger piece than if you split something into fifths. So we would say A will be greater 
because it will be split into four equal pieces. And B will be divided into five equal parts. Number five, evaluate the following expressions. 11 minus six divided by one half, or divided by one sixth. So we have, let's start with what's in the parentheses. So we have 11 minus six, that would be equal to five. So we have five divided by one sixth. Now remember, we were doing the tape diagram, so what we could do is draw five tape diagrams. And if I split them all into six, I'll have, if I count all of those up, I'll have 30 pieces, so it's equal to 30. B, 9 fifths times 4 times 1 sixth. So let's start with what's in the parentheses. 4 times 1 sixth, that would be equal to 4 times 1 over 6, or 4 sixths. So what we have is 9 fifths times 4 sixths, and there we can just multiply and get 9 times 4 is 36, 5 times 6 is 30, so we get 1 and 6 thirtieths, which is equal to 1 and 1 fifth. And C, 1 tenth divided by 5 divided by a half. So if we start with what is in the parentheses, 5 divided by 1 half. If I drew 5 tape diagrams and split them into 1 half, I would have 10. So we have 1 tenth divided by 10. If I were to draw a tape diagram and we have this one tenth and we're going to split that into 10 equal pieces. So if I did that, each tiny little piece, can't even fit them all in there, each tiny little piece would be equal to one one hundredth. D, 3 fourths times 2 fifths times 4 thirds. So here we just need to multiply across. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 5 is 20. Times 3 is 60. So we have 24 sixtieths. 24 and 60. I can divide both of those by 6. So if I divide by 6 over 6, 24 divided by 6 is 4. 60 divided by 6 is 10. I can still divide even more. I can divide both of them by 2 over 2, so I'll get 2 fifths as my final answer. E, 50, I'm going to write this out, 50 divided by the difference between 3 fourths and 5 eighths. So we're subtracting 3 fourths minus 5 eighths. We need to find a common denominator, so if we do, this will be 3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths, so 6 eighths minus 5 eighths, so we have 50 divided by 1 eighth. So if I take 50, draw 50 tape diagrams, and I split them all into 8 pieces, I'll have whatever 50 times 8 is, and 50 times 8 is 400. Number 6, Lee is sending out 32 birthday party invitations. She gives five invitations to her mom to give to family members. Lee mails a third of the rest, and then she takes a break to walk her dog. Write a numerical expression to describe how many invitations Lee has already mailed. So what we have is she's sending out 32. She gives five to her mom. So to me, that would be 32 minus five. So we're getting rid of five that she gave to her mom, and she mails a third of the rest. So we would do 32 minus 5, and then we're going to take one third of the rest. So of, I'm going to multiply. So a numerical expression would be 32 minus 5 times one third 
Another way you could write it would be 32 minus 5 divided by 3, because multiplying by a third and dividing by 3 are the same thing. Which expression matches how many invitations still need to be sent out? So if we want to know how many still need to be sent out, I'm going to take how many she's already she gave to her mom, so that was 32 minus 5, and then we're also going to take out what she already used, so this portion, 32 minus 5 times 1 third. So let's look for something that looks similar to that. And this first one matches that one. It's in a different order, but that's okay. So when there's a fraction or a number right next to the parentheses, that means times. So that's what that means.